It's oh, lovely. some fantastic carriages people. tonight, but we can, obviously can't keep that standard up. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Sorry, Parky. <laughs> and it's take oh, no, no, oh, Parky, off. <laughs> it's only a joke. <laughs> yeah. And it's take two tonight, isn't well, it? Yes, it is, yes. yes. If you were watching last night, you'll know we had a technical hiccup, and uh, I was going to do you loads of moon stuff, and then the technology didn't work. So we're going to try again today, is it gonna and work hope today? that the curse of the moon doesn't strike twice. But not all bad, because last night, as soon as we mentioned the moon, Sylvia went into a garden and took this picture. Oh. Um, this was in something because she was inspired by our moon talk, which should have included Dennis Ransom from Bournemouth, who wants to know what is the bright star underneath the moon. I'm thinking he means that oh. one there. Well, do you know it's not a star at all? Planet Jupiter, and if you look at it through binoculars, you'll be able to see its moons. But uh, back to our oh, moon, sure. and oh uh, yes, of knowledge. Uh, yeah. uh, tell me about it. Um, <laughs> Axel Taylor in Eastbourne took a picture of the moon. And he wants to know why has it got a halo around it? Well, here's what you need to know. Well, it's pretty cold, lots of water vapour around, ice crystals form in the air, and it's the refraction of the moonlight through the ice crystals that gives the lunar halo. Oh, this information, of course, not brought to you by, by me, because I know nothing, but from <laughs> Professor Greg Parker at the New Forest Observatory, who takes some amazing pictures. That's the oh, hard that. nebula. That's yeah. just incredible. He yeah. does clever stuff with a computer and a telescope but um here's the picture that started it all off last night from <laughs> ian matthews in hastings <laughs> uh, what a lovely moon that is and thank goodness we got to the end uh, all of that moon related information is on the uh, weather blog itv.com slash meridian and all of your weather forecasting information is coming up right now from the one and only simon perky parkin here he is mm -hmm. 